T-shirts are meant to be fun. So um, really, my message is, it's really, I do think it will matter when we look back in 10 years at all of these cool brands that we're starting, that we did it the right way. Hey everyone, this is Juno with Detour Shirts. I'm here with Mart of T-Mail. How are you doing, Mart? He's the CEO yeah. of T-Mail. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you very much for having me on your show. It's great, great to yeah. chat. Yeah, thank you for being on this show. Yeah, no, I'm a, I think it's, um, it's nice. It's nice sometimes when you're working on just like technology all the time to be able to speak to some people interested in using it and stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to read, for those that don't know you, a short bio about you and T-Mail. Growing up on the Isle of Wight, Mart and Rob Drake Knight spent all their time outdoors and saw the impact of plastic waste on their beaches and local community. After university, the pair started T-Mail in their parents' shed. The pair built the first open access circular fashion supply chain from scratch. Mart is a co-founder of T-Mail, a sustainable print-on-demand company that allows anyone in the world to make products in a circular way. Uh, thanks. Thanks, Mart, for being on the show. No problems, dude. That was um, good. Bear, bear in mind someone else wrote that from our company. Um, so I think I got away pretty lightly there. Yeah, they said nice, nice things. Yeah, this is great. So can you tell us more about T-Mail, maybe just an elevator pitch or something like that? Yeah, sure. No worries. I mean, we started the business because we really care about this issue called sustainability. You know, it's like mm. it's a major problem, but what are we actually going to do about it? And for yeah. us, clothing was pretty simple, pretty solvable. You know, we were like, sure, we can just make stuff from natural materials using renewable energy and it wasn't called a circular economy at that time, but it seemed to make it seems sort of crazy that people bought stuff, throw it away, and then the people who make it go out and buy the very same material that the customer just threw in a bin. So we yeah. were like, we'll cover it. Anyway, um, it turned out <laughs> it turned out a lot a lot harder than it sounds to do that. <laughs> and to make it work, we had to develop new types of technology, and we designed a new type of factory, um, lots of software in a factory. And one of the things that we did course was print things in real time um you know called print on demand these days print on demand, yeah. that, created, that created lots of efficiencies those efficiencies made it possible for us to achieve what we wanted to do with sustainability and it grew we had built our own brand actually to start with called rap it grew pretty big it's one of the biggest um, menswear brands in britain um and then we were just like this is this is kind of fun but if you if you want a solution to be the solution needs to be as big as the problem, otherwise it won't work. So we realized we needed to share it. So we basically packaged it all up in this platform, put it on the internet, called it T-Mail, and the rest is history. Nice, nice. I like that. That's really, that helps us uh, think about what, what you're doing here. I, I like the idea that you had in your head where you, you know, you know all of these kind of go in the, in the garbage after a while and they, you could reuse it. I mean, these are, this is material that you could yeah, use for it's, it's, the idea yeah. anyway, right? Yeah, you're yeah. exactly right. I mean, you look at it, you think, I think kind of like the word trash is kind of like part of the problem. Yeah. Because when you, when you call something trash, you, you kind of, it's okay to treat it that way. Yeah, the mindset is, yeah. But if you kind of went to a landfill, you'd look around, you see like, not just like cotton, but like steel, aluminium. Yeah, oh, yeah there's a lot. Like, yeah, and like they're, they're, they're materials and materials are worth something. So yeah. we, we were like, I wonder how we can get it get it to flow back. And I think, I think that's really where the T-Mail platform is a bit different. I mean, I think we yeah. kind of ended up in the same place as what a lot of other people are trying to do, just not just in T-shirts, but generally on the internet, which is have platforms and services and technologies that make it easier and actually ideally really accessible for people to participate and build brands. But what we wanted to do was do that in a really sustainable way so that mm -hmm. the outcome was different, that okay. instead of create and waste you make new things from it and eliminate waste and solve the problem it's a great idea um tell me about i, I have another question here I, I read on your site about circular how does circular work yeah so circularity is kind of like a quite a useful hmm you imagine like almost everything in the world is made the exact same way so uh -huh. we take resources out of the ground and we turn it into products that are designed to be thrown in the trash now, okay. if you, for example, in clothes, 99% of clothing and textiles waste is never recycled. Interesting. 
yeah, it just ends up in landfill. So the flow it, 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 it equates to about a dump truck per second or 40 wow. tons a second going into wow. landfill. So the whole time we've been talking, 40 tons. And of all of that waste stream, something like 60% of clothing is made with plastic. So this is a major, I think second most polluting industry on earth after energy, I believe. So, you know, it's a major problem. Um, so circularity, basically, the proposition is to take that conveyor belt, like a line, uh -huh. And rather than just say, well, buy less stuff or slow it down or make it a bit less bad, um, which is a nice idea, but it's kind of like driving towards a cliff, you know, slowing down is like, yeah, I mean, it's a good first step, but it won't fix it. You need to change something. You take that line and you bend it round into a circle so that oh, nice. worn out products come back at the end to the original manufacturer uh -huh. and they get chopped up and remade into the new products so that the material flows around in a loop nice and so then you can keep using it. yeah yeah you just keep and you keep the material on use you keep it flowing you keep it out of landfill and that's mm -hmm. kind of how you turn the tap off on trash for good that's nice that's a great idea uh, and, there is, and you guys there is are making it work that's awesome yeah um it was quite hard actually like um <laughs> there's lots of reasons why it doesn't is doesn't work like if you mix a lot of people mix plastic with cotton um, yeah so you'd have to redesign what t-shirts are made of and all, all these kinds of things right yeah that's exactly right you have to redesign it from the start yeah to come back and be remade in so we had to go we had to go all the way through to redesigning building our own like our own blanks so t-mill blanks are different uh they're designed so your t-shirts are are different than regular t-shirts are, are they softer are they what, what what's kind of the difference yeah, so that's a good question. I mean, I mean, for, for fund, fundamentally, one of, one of the interesting things about circularity is it's um, it's not really meant to be about like making life a misery or like making people sort of like have to <laughs> sort of a, a compromise. So right. um, we use natural materials, use organic cotton, nice. um, and it's hundred percent organic cotton. When it comes back, we chop it up and we re-spin it. Um, now, what's interesting is because, okay, stay with me here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> be, be, because when you get the material back, you don't have to buy a whole load of new material. It's like it's more efficient. It's kind of a bit like Elon's rockets, you know, like reusable. Yeah, reusable rockets, yeah. So it's a reusable T-shirt. It's much cheaper than a rocket. As a result, like that creates some efficiencies. And those efficiencies mean we can spend a little bit more on better materials or better quality. So it's not like sustainability has to cost more. The good thing about circularity is you can actually make it more, or at least competitive with business as usual, and you can and right. you can get you know you know more for your money because the material doesn't get thrown away. You don't throw money away. That right. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know. That's a great one. So um, let me ask you some of my questions. I have a, a few here of uh, people in my that watch my uh, content do print on demand mainly through places like Redbubble and Merch by Amazon, but a lot of them do uh, print on demand through their own site like Shopify, uh, Etsy, and have a third party print on demand site like Printful. I'm sure you're aware, Printful, Printify and stuff. Uh, yeah. What's the difference between T-Mail and Printful or Printify? Can you use T-Mail with Shopify or can you use T-Mail with Etsy or do you have to have your own site? Um, do you want a big scoop for your show? Yeah, 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 yeah. Big scoop. Big scoop. Big scoop just for you. I think there's a top secret um, Shopify plugin that maybe we can give you a link to for just your followers. Oh, nice. Nice. So you, you're you saying they'll be able to use T-Mail with Shopify now. Yeah. Um, nice. So we'll, we'll arrange that. Um, we'll okay. arrange that. Um, yeah, I think the main uh, the main difference, I mean, in a lot of ways, there's a lot of sim similar. I mean, I, I think that they're successful platforms that you mentioned for a reason. It's because it's a great concept, right? Like, right. you know, you can let um, people now participate in building their own brands. Brand. We don't have to wait for um, big business to change. We can sort of like disrupt it and, you know, actually sell our own products and stuff, which is great. But I think what's different with T-Mail is we do it sustainably. I think that's like the core focus of, of what we do. Is Sustainability, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's fundamentally what our business, like our business is known for as being a world leader in sustainability and our platform's a way for people to access that. But also we, we built the platform a little differently. So um, 
it is it is true that it's kind of a self-contained place with lots of features that are slightly unusual. So it, we, we, we go a little bit further than most in terms of the amount of functionality inside T-Mill. For example, you, uh, it's eight times, we, really what we were trying to do was to make it so that people could do more than just a side hustle. Like they could build a real genuine business using that technology. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what yeah. people want to do. Yeah, so um, for example, uh, it is true uh, that it is eight times easier to reactivate an existing customer than go find a brand new one. Right. Yeah. So, so in marketing, it's all about relationships and repeat sales and the lifetime of the customer. So you need some communication tools, a bit like some like an email marketing, drip flow marketing technology. And so we mm -hmm. built all of that and built it into Tmail. Oh, that's nice. For example, we found that a lot of we, we, you can build a whole store inside Tmail. So we have a really great web editor, loads of templates and loads of themes and all that kind of stuff if you want to use it. But we found that people would build their store and they're like, how do I get traffic? So we mm -hmm. built a um, we built a really powerful like um, search marketing um, tool inside Tmail as well called T-Rank. Nice. And um, there are again there are services out there like that are great. I mean like, you could probably think of a couple. I know like Moz is great, and SEO Profile are great, and and they might be like you know 10, 20, 30, 40 pounds or dollars a month. And I don't think what we built is necessarily trying to like go toe to toe with those services. It's more just to take the stuff you really need and put it all in one place. So it's integrated. Um, and there's a few others in there. There's like a, a graphic design tool um, and uh, some really great uh, mock-up photography technology that we've got. So we've got like a whole suite of services all inside T-Mill that we, we've built and we built them because we use them like our own teams mm -hmm. that, um, uh, you know, our own brand, we built a multi-million pound uh, you know, international business using all this tech ourselves. So we just basically, it's everything you need to do that. So I think that's the key thing. It's a bit, a little bit different about Tmail. It's sustainability and that we're trying to give people actually a proper sort of business, um, a business suite of business level tools to use. I think, I think that um, as we go on, we'll probably start chunking it so that. The API will probably release soon, um, more publicly. <laughs> Depends oh, how this nice. goes. Doesn't it? If we release it to all of your followers and it blows up, <laughs> yeah. That, that's another thing we've got inside Team was a really, really great like community of other mm -hmm. um, founders, and that includes some of some really big um, businesses as well as people like BBC, WWF. Nice. A very well-known yeah. search how, engine. How long have you been? I didn't ask. How long has Team been in business? A long we time, started. but you just started kind of <laughs> get the ball. <laughs> Sorry, I was just laughing because um, in your bio, someone mentioned we started in a shed, and I think I was a teenager when we started. And then I caught a sight of myself on the screen, and I don't look like a teenager anymore. <laughs> That's true. So it's been it's been a minute. <laughs> yeah, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon it took us about ten years to get um, all of the factory systems and the sustainability work we wanted to achieve done. It was hard. But so, and then in the platform, I reckon is a three to five years old or something like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. something like that. That's cool. You talked about it a little bit. Um, you also have like a mark your own marketplace that you can build a store within T Mill, right? You can have your yeah, own I mean, store. Yeah. So we're looking at like marketplace as a sort of way to help people kind of boost. Um, we do quite a lot of boosting. That's one of the things that we do do. And we I tell you what, one thing, uh, you know, we're like we're rubbish at is like telling people sometimes we're just a bit rubbish at like um we kind of spend all of our time building the tech and building the software and features and we're not that great at like marketing team <laughs> 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 and, so we, so we, <laughs> and like the features and benefits like so i just was like oh yeah we do this we do do that that's a good point so like we um we we, we have quite a lot of algorithms some of our most effective um ways that we help uh, what we call store operators is we have quite a lot of algorithms that um run in the background to pull out and curate really high quality or exciting designs and stores. So like, let's say you built, you built your own store. We would uh, be looking at the algorithms would be looking at the data in the background and putting up Google ads to kind of like uh -huh. um, accelerate your sales. So we, we, we find that a lot of store owners, most store owners build their own team, their own store. And so using our technology, it's all white label. There's no, you know, you can run it on a custom domain. Um, good example would be like dead natives. Should I give a shout out to a, a creator? 
Yeah, so Dead Natives have rad. Um, it's kind of streetwear brands. Deadnatives.com. You know, it's completely white label, custom, all custom uh, sort of like setup using a lot of our technology. And then around the, that, that's normally how people use our tech by just because they want to be their own brand and build their own thing. And they don't really want everyone to know it's kind of powered by us. So we try and stay in the background when. That's cool. Do you know what I mean? We sort of stay out of the way. I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of people don't know that Timo exists, actually. Just yeah, we, I think so, too. Yeah, like, do you know what I mean? Mm hmm. Yeah, you kind of let you kind of let the people do their thing, what they're yeah. what they want to do, and it's not about T-Mill. T-Mill is just like the digital infrastructure and all the tools yeah. you need. You know, it's about you. If you brand. want, if yeah. if someone's looking to have those kind of sustainable products, then they they know to go to T-Mill and kind of yeah. use that. Exactly. That makes sense. So, besides T-shirts, are there any other products that you do that's sustainable? Yeah, I tell you what, this is <laughs> sorry, it just made me made me laugh because this is a, this is this mistake. Like when we named the company, it probably we were we actually actually what came first is our material called remill. Uh -huh. So the the material that comes back and gets chopped back up and turned into new products, we call remill. Oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. Like, oh, why don't we build a platform that lets people kind of you know? So we like T-mill that. Um, and actually now it's, it's like it's more than just t-shirts like damn yeah we probably should have thought about that <laughs> just, yeah so there's loads of products hundreds of different products we make um nice. and uh, we've been sort of experimenting with lots of different stuff i mean it's still probably i uh, know i reckon 80 percent is what i'd call jersey wear so you right know, stuff you stuff you wear tees tops jumpers and stuff but it's quite funny we just did a jigsaw puzzle factory oh nice um so you can do jigsaws on t-mill and which sounds stupid because obviously it is stupid but it's a hundred million pound market in the UK. Yeah. Yeah. Who's you buying them? Yeah. I was trying to work out if it's like just one person buying. <laughs> it could be. Loads. <laughs> but if you get some good artwork on there or something that makes sense for the family, maybe it's a picture of a family vacation. That, that'd be Absolutely. cool. It's yeah. so much fun. And I think we're doing a thousand piece puzzles, which I haven't seen anybody else doing. So it's wow. That's Massive. cool. I'll have to try and get one and see what. Yeah, they're great. We love doing puzzles sometimes too. So. Yeah. So that's good fun. Great. All right. Uh, let me see. Um, what are the, I think this question is probably the mo the thing that uh, my followers are most interested in, and, and that's the profit. So what are the prices and profit margins on the different products? Maybe just the, the top three or whatever. I know you have a ton of products, but I think mainly t-shirts are, are what people want to know. Yeah, I haven't got the numbers to hand, but I can answer the question. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, so um, profitability, the way that we work, because they control their front end, it's kind of up to them what they... Well, right, because we can raise the prices, right? So you have a base so, price of something and then you... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's how we do it. So we'll have like a base price, um, and then it's up to you how much profit you kind of want to make. I mean... Okay, that's so nice. Got, yeah, so we got some like... Um, and you can mess with it, like at custom, a product level, you can put things on clearance or experiment, like... Uh, product level whatever um and we got some creators that are like really famous designers like this woman called Catherine hamnett in the uk she had all the big block you know the frankie says relax t-shirt really famous mm -hmm. one it's like mm -hmm. she, that, all that stuff was her um and she'll she'll charge like really uh quite high uh okay retail prices and get substantial you know double digit profits because she's just fantastic other people maybe who would just want to make not really so much interest in the profit, but just want loads of engagement and gather a load of data might, might put things down at a really low level to increase volume. So up to you. I think one of the things as well, this is quite an interesting question actually, because I've always come at this from a different, slightly different perspective, which is that, um, and, and at T-Mill, whilst our technology has constantly improved and, you know, we recover more material or we've like, automated our factories more our prices continue to become like to, uh, we pass on those efficiencies to our customers oh so that's to, great uh, so um, it could be, in the future it could be actually more profit than it is now it will be right it's yeah. been pretty, pretty consistently more profitable oh, over time that's, but, that's interesting right? that's kind of the opposite way people are going yeah, yeah well i think that's tech though right like if you really yeah. really own your whole supply chain and you put a conscientious effort into applying technology to make it more efficient it's yeah a smart consequence that things will get more economically uh you know more efficient and you can pass those economics to customer but i, I did actually want to talk to you about something it, it, you know it's just an interesting point that i've always thought about it might be useful mm -hmm. to your 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 like uh, your followers and whatnot which is um it's important when we think in, in business about profitability, not just to think about gross margin per item, mm -hmm. because 
actually, um, you might make an extra, say, ten, say if you've got two providers and one of them offers an extra 10p. Okay. It sounds like making more money. But you need to also uh, take into account conversion rate. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, so if you have a checkout that is really, really well designed, Apple Pay, Google Pay, really slick, yeah, yeah. Um, then you might end up with a conversion rate instead of, say, 2% or 2.5%, it might be 5%. Which means right. that you, double, you get double. the you get the customer again to buy again or right? Oh well, yeah, that's the other bit. Like you know, just on pure conversion rate, if the checkout's really smooth, you know, you get more conversions for every for every hundred. Oh, because people are like going. Yeah, I get it. See what I'm saying? Because they, they so, love the, the way it works, and so they come back because yeah, yeah, thank you very they much. They can move up faster and yep. they just love and it better. Yeah. That's so, kind of the so, Amazon. Uh, idea to yeah it. one click buy is a good yeah. example of conversion yeah. rate uh, applied. makes it easy so make it easy and then you go from say if you've got 2.5 percent conversion rate so 100 visits 2.5 sales and you make it you, you add apple pay android pay make the checkout really smooth and you go from 2.5 percent to five percent you know yes. you double the amount of profit for the same yeah. amount of traffic and then if you've got the uh technology to recover and repeat business mm -hmm. you can you're not just, you know, you say if you've got a 30 or 40 pound basket, but if your orders per customer, because you repeat them, doubles, each conversion is yeah. worth like 60 quid. So actually, wow. the, the I think there's a bit of a race to the bottom um, yeah. because everybody's competing on, um, you know, price and profit. Price like, and profit yeah. But what happens is that's a bit of a road to nowhere because what is literally happening on the other end is people are just, the quality of the materials and the quality of production will just go down because that's the only way that, do you know what I mean? If, right. if you're not investing in, in tech, right. it's the same the yeah. Yeah. And actually, if you think about it, people aren't going to come back and buy another t-shirt if the one they Right, because the quality is bad or the experience was yeah. bad and yeah. So it's kind of like a little bit of a sort of talking point. I don't know if that's useful or not. It's just something I No, that's before. great. Yeah, I like how you thought about, I like how you, thought about everything around the business right because uh, i think a lot of people like you said are just focused on you know how much yeah. can i make per shirt oh i, I can only make five dollars per shirt but you've you've yeah. thought about actually the, the whole business from a beginning to end where you thinking about the customer their experience their you know um kind of the quality of everything and you provided a way for for people to do that and um, um with your help you know the marketing and all of that so you thought of the like end to end so that's that's great I think yeah, most I think, people don't don't think about doing that. So no, and it's a shame because I think it's such a shame because a lot of people just getting into this uh, type of business. Honestly, they've got a load of energy, and mm -hmm. it's almost like not really helping people by because actually, if the, people took the time to actually learn that it was a mixture of pro you do need the profitability, but mm -hmm. also the conversion rate so that your site flows really well, and then the repeat orders. They wouldn't just build like a side hustle that made a bit of cash. They built a proper business and they could be really successful. Just yeah. in case of looking past that. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to help people build real big brands. Actually, nice. what's actually happened, unfortunately, is it's kind of worked. But actually, most, a lot, equally, a lot of big businesses that already knew that just flooded onto Team Mill. So there's loads of really massive um, brands mm -hmm. like. Uh, using using T-Mail and that's great for T-Mail but uh, what we really wanted really trying to achieve is to help people at the start you know start their start their own yeah start their own brand that's cool what is it cool. about looking up for the little guy the, the yeah you know, solo for newer, what, the small business what, yeah yeah that's what that's what makes it worth nice. getting up for seeing people that's go cool from uh, talking to about that how um I have another question can anyone in in any country join T-Mill? I know there may be, I, some people find it hard to join some other print-on-demand places. How, how about you? Can anyone in the world join T-Mill? Uh, that's our intent. That's uh, your intent. Yeah, um, it is true that right now we don't have any um, restrictions at this time. I think the um, the only thing that would stop someone would be like a postal service. Okay. Now, I don't, I, I, I think... There's only a very small number of countries that are not currently served by our postal network. So, like, okay. so the answer is basically yes. So we we ship all over the world. Um, there's store operators in you know dozens of countries. Um, 
I mean, we're based in the UK, um, but as, as, a, as a sort of like a technology business, but we've got manufacturing facilities kind of all over. Um, we ship to states, got facilities in Europe. So we, we're trying to, we're trying to, um, you know, we, we and, and team was used by people kind of all over. So, um, yeah, we, we, we like, we like international. Oh, great. Yeah. Good fun. Yeah. Great answer. Um, along with that, uh, well, this question, the next question is kind of along. I think you talked about it already, but I want to get a little more specific. Um, do we get to see who buys our products and then ha have it on an email list and kind of, um, you know, send out the email newsletter or marketing or, or things like that? How does that work to contact the, the customer again? Yeah, so um, there's a, in the market that we're in, we have this GDPR thing. I don't know if you've heard of uh -huh. that. So the way that we do that is um, we it's an interesting one. So the you actually don't want to be responsible. The problem with all of that is that it gives you kind of legal responsibilities for handling all the data. Like you have to handle okay. it in a certain way. And actually, you don't really want that if you can avoid it because it's a okay. stress. So what we do is we we take the uh, the customer's um, information and we uh, fulfill the contract of shipping the thing. And then you can see lots of data that's just uh, that contains it. You can see all of the stuff except for like what is called personally identifiable data, like their surname. So you might see like, you know, Juno in wherever ordered something and he ordered this uh -huh. and this. But we can't, you, someone can just knock, knock on your door and figure out where you live. Right. Correct. But then in all, so that gives the customer the GDPR protections that you're, okay. you, that they need. But then what we do is we provide you the tools inside the uh, platform to go out and send email marketing campaigns through the platform. Does that make sense? So you can use the oh, team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you um, don't, you're just sending email marketing to the, your customers. You don't know their address, but you, you guys know it. T-mail knows it. And so it gets sent right. there. Yeah, or like the way that we store it, it's like super encrypted. So actually kind of like it's uh -huh. locked down. But so you have all of the advantages that you'd, that come with owning the data. So you can still do all of your marketing and everything. Okay, but okay, you can still do that. the drawbacks of having the legal liability of not losing nice. the data. Nice, well, we're protected, you're protected, everybody's protected. So, so that's, that's great. That's one of the upsides of the way that we built it. Um, it gives you... It gives you like you're not you're not you've basically got the benefit of the relationship with the customer without any of the stress and liabilities. Great, oh, I like that. I like that. Yeah, a lot of places like I, I told you in the beginning, like Redbubble and uh, Amazon and things. Um, it's great that they have their own marketplace, but we have no control of getting the customer again. We don't know who who the customer is or send out anything, but. Sounds like T-Mail, you, you can do that. So that's great. Yeah, that, that's what we're trying to help the fix because obviously, you know, you want to... Um, you, you Tell can them about a sale or your new product or your new yeah. design, right? Yeah. yeah. And the yeah. customer, it would be reasonable that the customer might want to hear that mm -hmm. as well because yeah. after all, they bought Yeah, they bought from you once. They may want to see what you have again, right? Yeah. Yeah, so we're trying to build... build we, we're trying to build the technology in a way that's... System with the legislation and everything and the regulations yeah. are a good reason yeah, exactly. you, you want to be safe yeah. And, yeah. yeah but also without it being like so boring that you can't actually build a real business which is what you want yeah, to do right? yeah yeah smart all right i got a couple more here um tell me about how returns work so how are returns handled if somebody wants to return something how does that work um well uh, uh, that's one of the things that we do i don't know if we do that differently but we just we we just do what we think is fair. So um, if the customer isn't happy, we just sort it out. That's it. Okay. So um, um, because we, we, again, we want people to build great lasting businesses using our technology. Is there anything that the, um, like the seller has to do, like myself? So if no. someone on their side, no? Nothing. Okay. It's on the, on the stores. Um, we provide on the store builder. We provide. So it depends on how you work this. But like, if you're using like a vanilla um, a, a team or you want to build a team store, um, it comes with a kind of like self help. Like, where is my order? Sort of um, block. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So you, you drag drop blocks around in team. So you can put in like your YouTube videos or whatever, and it's kind of like a, just a modern cool store builder. But one of the blocks is like a self help. Like, where's my order? 
So normally what a customer will do is go like, oh, I just want to, I'm not happy with this. I want to change size and whatnot. And it's got the self-help. They can just uh, generate a little postal barcode. It comes back to us. We process it and handle it all. Don't worry about okay. it. Okay. So you guys handle it all. The seller yep. kind of is not, doesn't no. have to do anything. That's great. No, because we think that's part of the deal. Like you can't have it both ways. Like if, if, if we're going to, um, if we're going to print and ship for the customer, we also, you can't just then leave you, leave you as the seller kind of like up the river when someone's got an issue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In fact, that's, that's kind of the tough part on, on some of these, like I I've done with the, I, I have a Shopify store with Printful and things like that. And a lot of times, you know, when there's returns or something like that, I mean, they're good about taking it, but I, I, I have to get involved somehow, right? I have yeah, to get boy. their email address and talk to them and like, oh, this is what you do. And like, so. Um, They're the drag. Mark, nah, that's yeah. a little made at email. Yeah, it's awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, tell us more about coupons. Do you guys have coupons and things like that? Uh, yeah, so we're doing, this is an interesting one, this one. Like where the weird thing about discounting, this is another one of those things where like, you, I don't know, you, you, when you've built like a brand up, you've learned all these things. And uh -huh. sometimes you're sort of tell so a lot of people who are starting a business are like really want to do stuff like discounts. But yeah, I yeah, want to yeah, do yeah. like a sale, yeah. sale of the month or something. Yeah. Yeah, because if I do a discount, people will buy it. And then if you have been running a business for like 10 years, you're like, nah, don't do that because you know, if you've got like say uh, let's just They're say they're just gonna like, wait for the discount. Yeah. Yeah, the way for discount, or if you've got like a 30% net margin and you offer 15% yeah. off, you literally halved, you'd have to double your sales to break even, Correct. basically. Yeah, to make it right. up. Yeah, so we, we, we kind of like have been kind of like, I know you feel like you want it, but you don't. <laughs> um, <laughs> but we also have this really great community. So inside Timo, there's like, a, there's like a chat channel, all the other creators chat to each other, and we chat, so like I'll chat. I'll just go on my phone and like we'll just chat inside the platform okay. to each other. Yeah. And like we do listen to what people want. And like when people are like just I really want it, it's like, okay, okay, we'll build it. Fine. Okay. So it's, <laughs> so, a, it's like, something because the yeah, people we, wanted it, you built it. Yeah. So we've built we so we do do we what we've been doing up till recently is we've been doing like a offer weekends for everybody. So we do like a free post weekend. We've also done some really cool um oh, what's the right word to put like crowd things so like a massive tree plant in weekends oh so interesting you say like everybody go and then everybody who gets the sale will plant one tree oh wow so okay then, yeah so we planted we planted a lot of trees i bet yeah <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> um and then we do like plastic we did some plastic charity work and so some, we've been doing some stuff like that but i think what's going to happen now is we just got a prototype that we built um, for everybody so we're probably going to have discounts and coupons and like e-vouchers and stuff coming probably oh, cool. Christmas, that's fun. yeah because yeah, people wanted it and you've got to you got to obey the crowd yeah yeah it's just peer well, pressure it it works. Works. i'm glad it's there but like you said there's there's some ups and downs of it like there's yeah you know things about coupons that people are like well maybe i want to wait till the coupon or yeah, yeah so exactly you gotta be careful about using it too much right yeah yeah, for sure. Well, great. I think you've answered all my questions. Is there anything that we missed that you that we should talk about T-Mail? Um, Want to let the people know? Um, no, not really, dude. I think I think that was that was great fun. I think one of the things that I just I, I feel about all this kind of stuff is how um, I think it's important for everybody from time to time to kind of stop and think about what we're doing. Um, yeah. And like, isn't it amazing that we live in this time where I reckon we're maybe like the first generation that's got access to like ultra high speed internet, you know, relatively affordable computing and the mm -hmm. access to technology like this that can allow us to create businesses online and make money and trade with the whole world for basically nothing. Like that's incredible. So we should be stoked about that, but also be conscientious about what the consequences of the products that are, are like the consequences are of the products that we create. And if yeah. actually we kind of like, we, we look around at this massive issue of plastic and climate change um, and we ex actually accelerate that consumption and linear consumption model. That's actually, that's actually not funny or fun. Yeah. And t-shirts yeah. are meant to be fun. So um, really my message is it's, it's not really a Timor thing. If you want to use Timor, like great, like stoked, 
Um, but whatever provider or however you decide to grow your business online, it really, it, I do think it will matter when we look back in 10 years at all of these cool brands that we're starting that we did it the right way. Yeah, great point. That's a great thing to end on. I think it's something that we don't usually think, uh, at least me, uh, uh, but it's something we should be thinking about uh, is about the, like the sustainability and where, where things are going. Like we're, as sellers, we're, you know, providing all this stuff and people are buying it. And when we're not thinking about, well, what, where does that go after? Right. We're exactly. just thinking about getting the money, but we yeah. got to think about the earth and, and people and the whole thing, the whole thing. So I agree. Thanks for bringing that up. Thank you for being on our show, Mark. Uh, this is great. Uh, I'd love to uh, put this on here and get more people familiar with T-Mail. And I'm going to try it myself. I'll, I'll, I'll make a store there and, and see how it goes, kind of practice with it and see. And, Wait, and you said they soon they will be on Shopify as well, right? So Yeah, I reckon I'll, I'll, see, I'll see if our people can, um, our, our crew can get you a little exclusive cheeky link. It might be a little bit sort of beta, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but, no problem. I'll try it yeah. out. What you think, yeah. dude. That'd be cool. Well, thanks so much, Mark. Hope you have a good day. Thanks for sharing with us everything, all the answers, uh, much better than, of course, than I would have done myself. And we got a lot of exclusive stuff too. So it's great. You're welcome. Thank you very much for inviting me on the show. Anytime. You, you can come back anytime. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Bye.